Hi, this is Anil and welcome to your very first video tutorial on C++. This video tutorial is a production of the YouTube channel Learning Lad and the series of videos that we're gonna make on C++ are gonna be for the beginners in C++. Okay, let's begin with C++. So first we're gonna see some things about C++. C++ began as an expanded version of C. Uh, it was created by a man called John Stroshoff in 1979 at Bell Laboratories. He initially called his new language as C with classes, but in later 1983, the name was changed to C++ because you know people started to realize that C++ offers much more than C with classes, or you know, it's much more than that. Okay, now we're gonna see some features of C++. C++ is a mid-level programming language, which means that you can use this C++ to develop high-level applications and also the low-level libraries, you know, which work very close to the hardware. And the next is a very important thing, which is C++ is an object-oriented programming language. So if you guys watched our previous video series on C programming, we told that C is a procedural programming language, which means that we were organizing our code in terms of functions. And that functions are going to contain the actions that we wanted to do. So the C++ is developed with a new programming approach called object oriented programming you know where we're going to use the objects classes and this object oriented programming approach uses the concepts such as inheritance polymorphism encapsulation abstraction all those things so if it is really confusing or you know if you guys don't understand you know what exactly i'm talking don't worry while programming is going to be very clear to you and the next one is C++ is a block structured programming language. As I told you before, C is a structured programming language, which means that we can organize our code by using the functions. But in C, we can't create a function inside a function. But in C++, we can do that. And that's why C++ is a block structured programming language. Okay, the important question that comes to our mind is, you know, why should I have to study this C++? I already know the C language, and if I wanted to learn the object-oriented programming approach, then I have the languages like Java or C Sharp, you know, which are very famous in the industry. So, why should I have to study this C++? The invention of C++ was necessitated by one of the major programming factor which was increasing complexity. So if you are a C programmer then you guys may be aware that when the number of lines in the source code increases or your application or the program becomes complex it's very difficult to manage that program in C. So to solve that kind of problem C++ was invented. And for better understanding of OOPS some people say that C++ is the best language to learn the object-oriented programming approach. And the next one is about the efficiency. C++ is very efficient. So if you talk about the speed of execution, C++ is very close to the execution speed of C. So the C++ allows much more features than C and also is very near to the execution speed of C. And that's why, you know, C++ is going to be our choice. Okay, the next thing is where this C++ is used. C++ is used in the operating systems such as Windows that we use and the device drivers and also in web servers, cloud-based applications, search engines, whatever you say, C++ is there. So next one is the most important thing which is C++ is often the language of choice for creating some other programming languages. So. So if you're learning any other programming languages, there might be a possibility that, you know, that programming language was created by C++. So this is why you should have to study this C++ programming language. So that's it guys. Thank you. Thank you for watching. And this is about the introduction to the C++, what it is and why should we have to study this. So you guys can like our Facebook page at facebook.com slash learning lab. And uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial.